My name is Sam Robb. Uh, I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm here today because I'm running for President of the United States and they had a uh, debate here in Georgia. At the Libertarian Party State Convention in Douglasville near Atlanta, thank you to the Libertarian Party of Georgia for putting this together. Now, Sam, we just had an awesome debate. That was a lot of fun. I mean, nine candidates on stage? Outstanding. It was outstanding. It really was. And so why are you running? I'm running because the government is bad. Okay, I talked about it in the debate. Uh, it doesn't matter. That, that's an easy one. Like, really? really? Too, government is bad. Vote for me. Too easy. Why didn't I think of that? Bad. Yes. Um, no, we're headed in the wrong direction. If you talk to, talk to uh, libertarians, you talk to Democrats, you talk to Republicans, we're headed in the wrong direction. Um, we know it. Everybody knows it. We feel it. Uh, we look at the candidates that the, the duopoly parties are throwing up, and we want to throw up. They are bad. Um, so what we, we really need somebody in the government who, uh, who is not beholden to any interests, who doesn't have any past connections, who is willing to say, you know what, I'm just going to turn the ship around and get it going in the right direction. I think I can be that person. And what makes you the best candidate for the Libertarian Party in 2020 in particular? How do you think your strategy supports the party? I'll be honest, right? I don't know that I can say I'm the best candidate because we've got some, we've got some tremendous candidates. I'm standing here right here with, with one of them. Um, we, we have a tremendous stable, and I think what's going to happen here is whoever gets the nod is going to be the front of a large team. Uh, I've already committed to whoever wins the nomination, as long as it's someone who supports libertarian principles, I'm going to back them. I'm going to do whatever I can do uh, in the Northeast to campaign for them. Uh, I'm a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania native, right? I think I can get people in Pennsylvania listening to me. Uh, I think I can get people in other states paying attention. And uh, if, if, you know, if it's you, if it's uh, Dan, whoever it is, I'm going to back them. So you're the father of three girls. You sure you have time to run for Brad? What, what kind of fresh hell is this? I'm not a parent. I'm looking forward to it. But three, the thought of three girls at home, so that's, 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 a, that's a little intimidating, i got to be honest. And running for president at the same time, you're, you're very... You, 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 one, his question to me, and I'm honored to get the question. I take, take it as a comment, but it was, one of the things you pointed out in your question was that my plan was a little ambitious. You're running for president with three girls at home? Girls. That's ambitious. Well, in, in all honesty, I have three, two girls at home. The third is in college and engaged, so I'm very proud of that. Um, all, yes, um, all three of them actually are, uh, are uh, from China. I have three adopted girls. Um, that's one of the things that's very interesting about, uh, I think, about me as a candidate. Um, I've got some experience w with uh, dealing with firsthand with INS, dealing with immigration, understanding where some of that is broken. Um, so, but uh, yeah, it is, it is rather ambitious. I do have them behind me. Uh, as much as they roll their eyes at, Dad, you're running for president, <laughs> they, do, they do support me and talk me up, and I really appreciate that. All right, so the one gotcha question I want to ask every presidential candidate, but especially those running for the Libertarian nomination with me here, we're running as a team, with most of us at least, we're very collaborative, we want to help each other out, but obviously the one thing that differentiates my platform is that I'm not putting on the ring of power, I'm throwing it in the fire on day one, so the, 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 yeah, we, there, there, there are some Lord of the Rings fans <laughs> in the Libertarian Party, believe it or not. Um, but you're, what you're proposing is for you to be president. And as someone who is principled, espousing principle, there's a lot of obvious contradictions there. What to me is at the heart of this, for you asking for the Libertarian Party nomination is, what makes you special in the sense that you can put on the ring and not be corrupted by it? That's a tough one, and here's, here's the answer. The, the real question is, am I corruptible? And the answer is yes. Absolutely. There, you, someone wants to, they can, they can put pressure on me. They can, they can find a way to, to tempt me. What I found out, and I mentioned this uh, in terms of uh, you know, my closing remarks, uh, I struggled at one point with the nicotine addiction. I had to go out, and the way that I dealt with that is I found accountability. And when you're talking about the Libertarian Party, you're talking about accountability. I'm t if, I, if I end up as president, it's not going to be President Sam dictator for life. It's going to be Sam, hey, Adam, 
what's going on here? Is this right? Is this the right path? Is this where we need to go? Hey, Kim Ruff, can you talk to me and tell me, is this, is this where things need to go? Hey, I've got a call from Dan Berman. He's, he, you know, he wants to have a word with me about the latest thing we were talking about with the IRS and how come the IRS isn't gone yet, right? We're talking, to, talking about a party of people who really are passionate about freedom, really passionate about liberty, and really passionate about decreasing the size of government, not just a little bit, not even just mostly, but drastically. So in terms of, in terms of corruptibility, yes, I'm corruptible. In terms of accountability with the Libertarian Party, I'm going to have a ton of it. I'm going to have people breathing down my neck and making sure I stay on the right track. I think I can manage that for four years. I raced girls for more than that, so <laughs> I, can, I can manage that. That's a very fair, honest, and humble answer. And Sam, I appreciate you being part of the team. If you're the nominee, it'd be great to support you. Uh, your website, any closing words? Uh, website is samrob2020.com. That's S-A-M-R-O-B-B, -B, 2020.com. And uh, do what you can. Social media, share, like, tell your friends. And most of all, get your friends looking at this not as a hey i want you to support sam but get them looking at all the candidates get them looking at me get them looking at adam get them looking at dan because all of us have different messages all of us reach different people and you know the more people that we reach the better chance we have of changing this country amen thank you so much brother thank you, sir. adam versus the man is made possible by people who care about freedom like our patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam versus the man.